Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and I'm here with... Borgar. I'm the CEO of uh, FXI Technologies. And FXI Technologies makes the FXI cotton candy, which is this little thing, looks like a USB flash drive, and in some ways it's a USB flash drive. It's what, it is. what makes it different? Uh, well, it has a, a full-blown uh, application so processor, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built-in. So it operates as a standalone computer that can plug into any type of screen with either an HDMI uh, or an USB uh, connector. So what we're looking at here is a television that if you look closely you'll see it's actually running Android software and that's because it's got uh, one of these cotton candy sticks plugged into it running a, I guess, a demo to show off the graphics capabilities. Here we've got a MacBook Pro which also has an MSI plugged into it and again it's running Android software. And over here we've got a Dell Inkstone uh, laptop computer running Google Android. And in all of these cases the, the Android operating system is not running on the computer or the TV, it's running on that little USB drive, right? That's absolutely correct. You can operate it from your computer, so it virtualizes the keyboard, the mouse, and everything, so you can operate it from the computer, so the computer actually doesn't do anything, it just displays the graphics from, from the camera. And, and what can you do with a device like this? Well, you can do a lot of things. Uh, we have uh, key uh, partnerships building up now in the enterprise. So having an enterprise desktop with you, wherever you go, is one of the uh, key things that's happening on the device right now. We also have pay TV services being built on the device, so you will in the future see a lot of pay TV, uh, like a pocketable set of box, you can bring your service with you all over the place. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's a computer. I mean, you can do whatever you want with it, basically. Okay. And so, uh, so this sells for about $199 with... We are selling to developers right now, uh, so for $199 shipping locally. Uh, there's uh, currently over 160 companies that have bought the device from us that are using it for their internal purposes or to build additional value on top of the company. And they can take that value with them to any screen. List. So you can see this as, a, as something that people could use for any screen computing, you could give it to your employees and basically say, here's your portable workstation, carry it with you from computer to computer. Yes, yes. Um, I mean, people can bring their own laptop to work, uh, and, and this device will then plug into that laptop, open up the work environment, uh, totally secure, not interfering with your computer at all. IT can support that in a secure network, where your computer lives on an unsecure network, and you, you basically have two separate worlds, but they are all, you know, uh, operating from the same keyboard and screen. Okay, and as we discussed, um, you guys announced this, I guess, over a year ago at this Three, point. 369 days ago. <laughs> okay, roughly. And, uh, it's been many 369 days, to say, put it that way. Yeah. Yeah. And um, when you announced it, there was really kind of nothing else like it on the market. It's, it's still the only device that will work the way that it does with, you plug it into a Windows or a Linux yep. or a, a Mac computer and you yes. can use it. But we've seen a lot of these relatively cheap devices, under $100, some even under yeah. $50 coming yes. out of China. Web prices, yeah. How does yours do, uh, compare with those? I think compared to uh, the devices that we have seen, uh, what, what's different in the TV perspective, when you plug it into TV or HDMI, is that we are offering some really high-end performance uh, compared to most of these uh, products. Uh, so, so I think from our perspective, uh, it's important to be on the very high-end side. We announced today a uh, partnership with ARM, so following the ARM roadmap into the future to bring more and more performance into this form factor is going to be a key thing for us. Not necessarily keeping the price as low as possible, but to keep the performance as high as possible. That's going to be our direction. But then, uh, again, I mean, this is not a small set of box. This is an any screen computer, and that's where we really differentiate. And is it a Google certified device? Does it have the no. Play Store? Okay. No, it's not yet. So we are shipping this uh, to developers uh, with the ICS, Android uh, right now, right open source version. Uh, so we are also supporting the open source release uh, on this. And we are also shipping it with uh, Ubuntu, uh, Linux, uh, the Naro release there, also open source. So people have the choice of using one or both uh, of the operating system or whatever purpose they like. Okay. And, and it has an Exynos 4210 uh, dual core. Yes. Wonderful chip. Uh, uh, processor. And so that's capable you know, of handling Ubuntu, other operating systems, just yes. as well as it is Android. Yes. Okay. And um, why would Comcast sort of the size of this? Uh, well, they have a whole set top box strategy. Oh, okay. we've got one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm rebooting it right now. And this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and it's a quick look at the FXI cotton candy.